The blue jeans are gonna be better after this guy comes. Hello, everybody! It's Alec Manoa Day. Welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Adam Petal. And I am your host, Nicholas Playalog. And you said it, buddy. It's Alec Manoa Day. Oh. Mark it in your calendars yes. forever. Yes. This is forever a Blue Jays Day in history, or at least we hope so. But that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the fact that we just brought up one of our top prospects, Alec Manoa. Uh, 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 he's like Jesus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rising. Cue rising. the Halo oh. 2 music. But before we get into that, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this channel. And also, uh, Monkey Knife Fight and Manscaped are our sponsors. Today, Jays is our code to use them. You will get discounts if you do $3 a month. You become a Patreon. You can call into this show. Shout out and thank you to all of those who have already done so. All yeah. right, buddy. I have been waiting. I have been I have been waiting with bated breath to make a podcast about this man. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, literally, bro. It's like yeah, I'm dancing. Just, I'm dancing. Second, bro. Like, let me just mm. vibe right mm. now. Because mm -hmm. god damn, do mm -hmm. we need it, man? Mm -hmm. Do we freaking need it? And yep. this guy, it's like, like I heard about him, and then spring training happened, and I like heard about we him. We really heard and about then, him. Dominated. And then, and then AAA happened. And I was like hearing about him. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. stripling happened. Mm -hmm. And I really heard I'll, about uh, him. Anthony K. Well, I will give, and Anthony K. I will give stripling some credit. He's one like two. one or two. You know, one or two outings. One you know, or two outings. Really nice. From him. But there, that, that fifth but hole either is way, bad. Man, there has been a question mark in our pitching staff. Multiple. This entire Multiple. Year. We tried Nate Pearson. Didn't really work nope. out. He had a lot of mechanical problems. Tell me about where this guy came from, yes, because yes. like it's Let's like get to this know guy him. just erupted on yeah. the stage. Let's get to know him for those who are like, who is Alec Manoa? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. here you are. Okay, so Alec Manoa, he's a pitcher, obviously from West Virginia. He went to West Virginia University and he mm -hmm. pitched there in 2019. Yep. He got drafted first overall, uh, sorry, first round, 11th overall by the Toronto Blue High Jays round draft pick, in guys. 2019, mm -hmm. and he actually didn't pitch that much. The following, you know, when he got when he got to the show or the uh, minor leagues, minor sorry. leagues, because he went to he, he went to Vancouver yes. that same year. He went to Vancouver. He actually didn't pitch that much because he was so taxed from mm -hmm. playing college ball yeah. that like he, they were being very conservative and just getting used to the whole system and everything. Uh, but also, here, take this in perspective. This is how big this man is. Six six. He's a. Big 260. Boy. He two, is a 260. Big boy. He's six, giant. 6 260. 260. And I was Monsters. dude, I was watching a little bit of of tape on him from these triple A starts that he's yeah. been doing this year. He is a presence on the oh, mound. Dude. You know like you see people, yeah. you see people like Sale and and uh and, and DeGrom and like these are tall boys, but like this is like he's a like, big boy. He's a, he's he's like here to attack. Literally, dude. Like he's power. And I, I love him. Like not only physically he looks like a powerful guy, uh -huh. but like so far and Clearly, I'm a, like a psychologist, and I can read minds and tell who's got the good mindset. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, buddy. But you got it, it all up there. In his media, media production and for Ryerson University. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, have it. So, anyway, so in his post-game interviews and pre-game interviews and whatever, he, he has a mindset mm -hmm. that's very much like, yes, I know these high leverage situations because I played NCAA. Yeah. I played in these situations and I know exactly what I'm going to do. When I get to the show, I already know exactly how I'm going to feel. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to know how to channel that, not into into something else like worrying about how I'm going to pitch and everything. It's I'm going to challenge it, challenge, channel it okay. into attacking yeah, the dude. hitter. Well, so and, and here's the thing. I'm confidence. getting more respect for people who take the college route because yeah. yes, he is age 23. That was a little bit older than Vladdy and, and whatever when they came up. But at the same point, was Vladdy ready mentally? Did Vladdy pitch 218 innings in college yeah. with 249 strikeouts and an ERA of 2.81? I don't think so. And those numbers are what earned him a first round draft pick. That's mm -hmm. what got him there. And he really continued it going into AAA. He's only pitched 35 innings, but over those 35 innings, 54 strikeouts, mm -hmm. a point eight whip, mm -hmm. and a 1.54 ERA. 
it's been Wait, dominant. a point a, a point eight whip. Damn boy. Yeah. yeah. A it's, point eight whip. It's That's been over, exceptional. It's like it's literally and that was in twenty nineteen. That was in twenty nineteen. In twenty twenty one. Because twenty twenty yeah, was a complete write off, yeah. guys. We didn't have any triple A at all. Cause I was gonna say, like, like in I wanna I wanna fast forward a little bit to this year. Cause I know the whole questions are gonna come up, and a bunch of you are already thinking of it, and a bunch of people have already talked about it. Is it too early to bring up Alec Manoa? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Cause all he's done so far this year is well, exceptional. Yeah, uh, he has been exceptional. His guy. ERA is literally Point five. One earned run. One, One earned run. One freaking earned run. Through 18 innings. Strikeouts per nine is 13.5. That's a, really and good. A, and a whip of 0.556. So it's been exceptional this year. Yeah. So is it too early? Well, this decision was clearly a decision based on desperation. Mm-hmm. The Blue Jays, mm-hmm. when this decision was made, were on a six game losing streak. Mm-hmm. The bullpen was getting destroyed. It's not the offense. It is not the offense. The offense is the best part of our team. And honestly, we might even have the best offense in baseball right now. It's not an overstatement, guys. It's not. It's not a crazy statement. It is very true. Uh Um, However, our pitching needs the help. And adding one guy internally to the major league roster is one step closer. Obviously, the trade deadline is still a bit away. Uh, but you got to make something happen hey, or else this team's going to hey, fall into a hole. Throwback. Do you remember? Throwback to the beginning of the season, guys. Where were we in ERA? We were like several really? weeks in and we were ranked number one. Yeah. I looked at it now. We have fallen to 15th. Yeah. We have an ERA of 4.04. And I just want to put that in perspective because for the first like three weeks, we were ranked number one. So we've been doing that much worse to yeah. get ourselves to yeah. 4.04 ERA as a team at that point. That is middle of the pack. And basically what we have been doing over the past month has been very below average. So, yes, do I think he could use a little bit more time in the minors? Of sure. Course. But it's not an ideal world. And when this guy in spring training comes out over seven innings and K's 15 people, you are showing me a level of dominance that I haven't seen from almost any of our other pitchers. You know, I know that Nate Pearson is ranked 10 in the top 100 MLB prospects. I know SWR is ranked higher than him, but this guy has been erupting onto the scene with what he is doing. He is saying, hey, everyone, camera over here, camera over here, Mike over here. I am important. Look at me. And I want to look at this guy right now because I truly think he could maybe be a freaking ace on this squad. I just picture him actually being like, hey, no, no, you guys need to film me right yes. now. Yeah. I'm, I, they're like, uh, but bro, bro, body it's, just it's, hitting it's 16 straight, home straight runs. It's like, like, like Nate Pearson's having an interview right now. He's like, no, this is my mic now. I'm Alec Manoa. Right. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Right. So what is it that you're expecting? First outing against the Yankees, Alec Manoa, it's today. What do you want to see? Uh, well, Alec Manoa in spring training has absolutely dominated the Yankees. Like, this guy literally didn't give up a single run in spring training against them. So, I'm expecting with the Yankees bats still being pretty cold as they were earlier. Mm -hmm. They missed DJ LeMayhew. Not sure if he's going to be back because of maternity leave. They're missing the big boy, big bat, uh, Giancarlo Stanton. Yes. I think they're going to absolutely dominate. I think he's going to go probably five plus, maybe even six innings. Max two earned runs. Now, I know this is quite the <laughs> prediction for someone making his major league debut, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I think he's got the stuff, and I think he's got the talent, and I think he's going to do it. Yeah, no, I agree, buddy. I really think that he is going to be in line for a nice game. I think the mental is there. I think the stuff is there. We didn't even go over what he's got, but fastball that can touch 97, a nice uh, a nice slider, a nice changeup. It's like he's got the stuff to make it happen. I'm, I'm going with the exact same prediction. I'm thinking five innings, round seven strikeouts. That's what you said, right? Five innings, seven strikeouts? Oh, you didn't say the strikeouts. I think, yeah, six or seven strikeouts. Six or seven strikeouts, yeah. I think he's going to deliver the one, two, you know, like be painting a little bit. Might miss a couple. Might give a couple walks or something. But Nerves. in the end, we're not going to get too damaged because they are cold. And I, I really hope, man, I, just, I really hope that he doesn't get blown up like Pearson yeah, but I have a lot of faith that it's I not think he's got. Here. I think he's got the right mentality yes. to channel that yeah. shit I in think the right this place. This is different. This is, this is different. different. This is this way is a different, different situation than it was before, guys. Yes, yes. We are gonna be different, and uh, and and I think that Alec Manoa, you, you watch, guys. You keep an eye on this guy. You buy his baseball card. 
because he could be an ace mm -hmm. in the MLB for yeah. years to come. Guys, we're going to be watching this live. So if you've seen this podcast, get ready. Seven o'clock. We're going to go live mm -hmm. watching his whole start and the whole game against the Yankees. Hopefully we can grab that W. But let us know, guys, in the comments down below. What do you think about Alec Manoa? What do you think he's going to do today? His innings, his strikeouts, earned runs. What do you think? Let us know. Yeah, guys. And you can also check us out on Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, and Google Podcasts. Also, if you enjoy this content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. We will answer all of your questions. Monkey Knife Fight and Manscaped, those are the sponsors. Today, Jay's is the code to get a discount on both of them. And also, $3 a month, you can become a Patreon. You can call us on our phones. Usually, we are drinking like we are mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> we will talk to you guys about baseball, about your lives, about that girlfriend that never called you back, oh, about sorry. your friends first job, oh. about uh, whatever it is that you want to talk about, yeah. we will talk to you about it on this channel. It's a great time. Do it. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And go, Jays, go.